I feel like this lighting is like really weird and it makes my skin gray. If this lighting is like really bad, I I apologize. I, I don't I don't really know what to do here. Hey guys, it's Erica. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my most requested video. I literally get asked every single day to do this video. You guys ask me in the comments, in my DMs, every single day to do this video. Especially since I started editing on iMovie, you guys have been really curious how I do all of the little like text pop-ups, the moving text, how I get like aesthetic overlays and all that kind of stuff, how I do the Instagram thing on the side here. And for those of you wondering, yes, I do use iMovie. I have been using iMovie ever since February, so about four months, ever since I got my MacBook. It is insanely basic, but I learned a few tips and tricks that um, requires a little bit of extra effort, but once you put in that extra effort, it's so worth it. I think that is enough rambling on. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. So before we get into the actual editing process of how I edit my videos, I just want to quickly show you guys a few of the main pieces of equipment that I use to edit my videos and are kind of essential to editing. So the first one that I have is my MacBook Pro. This is my baby. I love her so much and she does everything that I need her to do. I don't know why I'm calling it a she, but you get what I mean. I'm just absolutely in love with this MacBook. And then the next thing that I have is this SD card and HDMI adapter that I got off of Amazon. And for some reason, the new MacBook don't come with like SD card slots and HDMI adapters so you have to like get one of these little separate adapters so that you can obviously put in your SD card and get the footage onto your MacBook okay so now it's time to import the footage onto your laptop so I'm just gonna quickly go over that it's a really really basic thing but for those of you that are beginners uh, hopefully this will help you out so first of all I just put in my adapter and then I will put my SD card in really really simple as you can see and then you're gonna see like this little adapter thing pop up you want to click on it select your folder and then what I do every single time is basically just like make a new folder for my project name it whatever I want to name it so I just selected all my files that I want to use dragged it over to my project file and then just like let them go onto my computer and that's basically just how you import footage and then as far as creating a new project in iMovie this is really really basic but I just thought I would go over it for you guys that are beginners so first of all you want to just go into iMovie select create new so then you want to go ahead and push import media and then go to desktop and select your folder file for instance I just selected my how to be productive at home file and then basically if you just select that and push import selected it'll import all of your video files for you and then you can get started editing okay so now it is time to do the rough cut which is the most basic but also the most boring part of editing so first of all what you want to do is just drag all of your videos into your timeline and just start going through them and cutting out any parts that you don't want to keep so just deleting every single mess up and any part that you don't want to keep in the video and just shortening it down so when you come to a part that you want to cut out you just want to split the clip right at the beginning of where you want to cut it out and then go to the end of the part where you want to cut out and split it again and then you're going to have this whole separate clip that you don't want so then all you have to do is select that clip and delete it and there we go you have your part cut out that you don't want and you're going to have a nice smooth transition without that breathing without that mess up so now i'm basically just going through all of the footage and cutting everything out that i don't want to keep in the video leaving everything in that i want to leave in the video so something that really helps you make the rough edit go by a lot faster and you can just get in your rhythm is keyboard shortcuts so i just want to show you guys a few of my favorite keyboard shortcuts that have definitely helped me to edit videos faster. So the first keyboard shortcut is command B. So you just wanna push command and then B. And this is basically just going to split your clip slash cut your clip, whatever you wanna call it. Command Z, which is undo. I make mistakes all the time, so I have to undo. Shift command Z, which is redo. Command C, which is basically going to copy your clip. And then to paste, you wanna use command Z. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my videos more engaging by using the crop to fill and Ken Burns tools. So the first thing that I like to do a lot is just the most basic crop. So basically you just wanna hit the crop tool up in the corner and then you want to push crop to fill and basically then it's just going to give you this cropping option where you can crop it in a little bit and I usually don't do like a super crazy crop sometimes I do though if I want to be a little bit more like funny and dramatic and then the second thing that I like to do is like make it zoom in on my face you're going to hit that same crop tool but this time you're going to push Ken Burns and then basically you're going to be able to choose where it starts and where it ends for like your little zoom in so as you can see here I just kept the start crop exactly where it was and then made the end crop a tiny bit smaller and then as you can see it kind of just like did more of a kind of quirky funny zoom in on my face another thing that i really like doing with the ken burns tool is basically just switching around the start and end place so that instead of zooming into my face it like zooms out and i just feel like this is really aesthetic i don't know exactly how to describe it but it really just matches my vibe if you guys have watched any of my videos literally ever you have most likely seen like a certain clip where my voice would go higher or lower if i said something funny or weird and i didn't know how to do this for the longest time but it's literally the easiest thing ever you know might not be very good for you to just eat 20 cookies 
cookies. Go ahead and select the clip that you want to change the audio effect on. And then you want to go ahead and click this icon up in the corner that it has like three little circles. Click on audio effects. And then it's basically just going to give you tons of different audio effects to choose from. My two favorite effects that I like to use the most for my videos are pitch down one and pitch up one. Adding borders is a super great way just to add a little bit of an aesthetic touch to your videos. Go ahead and put the first layer of video clip onto your timeline, then get the second layer of video clip onto your timeline, and then simply just drag the second layer on top of the first layer like so. Push the little like two boxes and then click on the part where it says cut away and you want to go ahead and select picture in picture. After that, you can just go ahead and adjust that video clip on top of the other video clip and just give yourself a nice little border. If you have multiple different clips that you want to add borders to, simply copy the first clip that has a border, select the clip that needs a border, and then go up to the top of your MacBook screen and push edit. Then you want to push paste adjustments and underneath that you want to push video overlay settings and it's basically just going to paste all of the overlay settings from the first clip that has the border onto the second clip and that the borders on both of them are identical and it doesn't look weird. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and use green screens. So the first thing you want to do is go to YouTube and search whatever green screen you want to do. Once you have your green screen video picked out, you want to go ahead and copy that link. Then you want to go to a website called YTMP3 and paste your link and make sure that you are selecting MP4 at the bottom and then you can just go ahead and download your video. Once your video is downloaded, go back into iMovie and drag your green screen on top of where you want to put it. Press the little box button and then select green slash blue screen and there you go. That is how you use a green screen. Now comes the part that I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for and that is how I get aesthetic text and fonts on iMovie. So as many of you guys probably already know, iMovie has terrible fonts. So I did figure out a way to get aesthetic and cute fonts on iMovie and it takes quite a bit of extra effort. But if you are willing to put in that extra effort, it is definitely worth it. There's probably a better way, but this is just personally what I have been doing. So to make my fonts, I actually use my phone. So I use the app Fonto to make all my fonts. So basically what I do is I make a green screen in Fonto and then just add text onto that and then put the green screen on my video. So once you have your green screen, you can go ahead and tap add text. Once you have your text typed in, you can move it around, adjust the size, adjust where it is. You just want to go ahead and airdrop it to your MacBook. Once your green screen is on your MacBook, simply drag on top of the place where you want your text to be, turn it into a green screen, and there you go, you have some text. Since I have got so many questions about this, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do like the blurry butterfly text that I do in so many of my videos. You guys keep asking about this, so I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. Okay, so you wanna start by copying the clip that you wanna add the text and butterflies to and paste it into a separate movie file. Then you wanna go to titles and select pull focus. Pull focus basically just has like text with a blurry background and basically you just want the blurry background, not the text. So what you wanna do is go ahead and erase that text and you'll just be left with this nice blur over your clip. Then go ahead and export your clip and this will be like your first layer. And then once that clip is exported, you just want to drag that back into your timeline and put your little butterfly green screen on top of it. And I got this green screen off of YouTube. I just searched like butterfly green screen. Once you have your butterfly green screen on top of it, you want to go ahead and export that as a separate clip. Then all you have to do is add your text on top and there you go. You have this really cool blurry butterfly green screen text. Hopefully that all made sense. This is kind of hard for me to explain, but yeah, hopefully that made sense. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do transitions and how to get sound effects. As you can see up in the corner, there is a little thing that says transitions. You just wanna go ahead and click on that. Then select the transition that you wanna use and drag it in between the two clips that you want to transition between. And then I also usually like to change the duration to about 0.2 seconds so that it changes really fast. And for sound effects, iMovie actually has its own library with like hundreds of sound effects. For transitions, I usually like to use the sound effect golf hit. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make PNG images and then add them to your videos. So first of all, what you wanna do is search up the image that you want to make into a PNG, and then you wanna download it to your downloads. Then next you want to go to a website called remove.bg, which is a super amazing website that I discovered where you can basically just put in your image, whatever image you have, and it'll remove the background for you for free, and then you can download it. Once your image is downloaded, you can go back into iMovie, drag it over top wherever you wanna put it, and as you can see, the background is transparent. Then you wanna go up to the little box and select picture in picture and then hit the crop tool and push fit and then go back to picture in picture and adjust your image until you're happy with how it looks and then i usually like to use the sound effect bottle cork just so it kind of looks like it's popping up on the screen if you know what i mean and there you go that is how to make and add png images to your videos i have a dslr camera and it's kind of hard to vlog with a dslr
I actually use the mic on my Apple earphones to do most of my voiceovers. The sound quality is actually pretty good and everybody has a pair of earphones lying around. Recording a voiceover on iMovie is actually really simple. So basically all you have to do is click this little mic button and then you're gonna have this recording thing come up. All you have to do is then click the recording button and there you go, you can go ahead and record your voiceover. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how I find and add music to my videos. So the first way that I like to find music is by using thematic.com. It is an easy way to find copyright free music that is completely free. All you need to do is give credit in the description and you can use any of the songs on this website. Once you've found a song that you like and you want to use, there's this little like arrow button where you can download it. Giving credit is really, really easy. All you have to do is simply just click the link. It'll automatically copy it for you and then you can just go over to your YouTube description box. And the second way that I like to find music and download music is by using YouTube. So all you have to do is go up to the top, copy the link to the video and then go back into YT to MP3 that we were using earlier. And this time you want to make sure that it is on MP3 at the bottom bottom so that it downloads as like an audio file instead of just like a video file. Once you have your songs downloaded, you can go into your iTunes library in iMovie and then all of your songs that you downloaded are going to be there. All you have to do then is just drag your music underneath where you want it to be. Make sure that if your music is background music that you are lowering the volume so that it is not distracting. I'm going to show you guys how I make my little Instagram overlays since you guys literally ask me about that all the time. So the first thing that you want to do is just go into your phone and take a screen recording of your Instagram and now we can actually get started making the little iPhone overlay. So the first thing you want to do is download a picture of the iPhone, whatever iPhone picture you want to use, and then go back to remove.bg and put your image in so that you have a PNG. So once you have your little iPhone PNG, put it into iMovie over a green screen. So as you can see, it's really easy just to put your little PNG over your green screen. Just adjust it by doing picture in picture. And then you want to save that and that's going to be your first layer. Now you want to put your first layer back into iMovie and we're going to start making the second layer. Then what you want to do is copy your like little video clip and then you want to paste it in a bunch of times so then you just have one nice long clip then what you want to do is drag the screen recording that you took earlier and drag it on top of all your little green screens go up to the top little box and push picture in picture then you want to adjust it on top of the little like green screen phone so that it looks like that's like on the screen um i don't really know how to explain it but hopefully you guys can just see what i'm doing here and then once i'm happy with how everything is looking up here i'm going to go ahead and export that and that is going to be my second layer and if you want you could just keep it like this and then just put it as a green screen over your video but i like to add like my little Instagram handle at the top yet. So now I'm gonna make a third layer. How I personally do this is I'll go ahead and drag in my second layer that I just made. And then I'll go into Fonto and make a text. But when you're making your text here, you wanna make sure that your text is on the very bottom of like your green screen. And I'm gonna show you what I mean in a minute. So here I'm gonna go up to the top and just put it over. You can see it's on cutaway. You wanna push picture in picture. And then as you can see, since they're like both green, it kind of like blends into each other. And then I'm just bringing that text up to the top here, bringing that like separate green screen image as it's in picture in picture and moving it up to the top like up above my little phone here just leaving it there and as you can tell it kind of just blends in and you can't even tell that it's a separate like green screen um hopefully that all made sense it's kind of hard to explain but hopefully you can see what i'm doing here then i'm just going ahead and exporting that as my instagram overlay once you have that exported you can go back into imovie put it over top of your video as a green screen and there you go that is how i make my little instagram overlays and lastly i'm going to show you guys how i make my intros which is the last thing that i always do for my videos and the first thing that you guys see in new york i'm in there i need it myself running from my own and i shoot that off so first of all, I just go through my edited video and pick out a bunch of clips that are either aesthetic or funny. It honestly depends on the vibe that I'm going for for my intro. And once I have all of my clips selected, I'm going to go ahead and copy them and then paste them into a separate project. Once they're all pasted, I go ahead and drag my song that I want to use. And then usually what I'll do is get like a nice background. Here I'm just using my classic sky blue background. And then I just dragged a bunch of text screen screens over top. And something that I like to do a lot is make like a bunch of different text screen screens, all the same text, but then just like different fonts and then make them like 0.2 or 0. 0.3 seconds each the text is changing a lot and it just makes it more aesthetic and what i usually like to do is for the last like text green screen i won't push fit i'll just let it like move out of the screen and another little thing that i like to do if i want to spice up my intros or just honestly b-roll in general is using this feature called split screen go ahead and copy the clip that you want to split the screen on and then paste it right next to that and then drag that same clip over top of the other clip go up to the little box and then push split screen and then as you can see it like splits the screen but i really like it and then here at the top i like to mess around the slide and that's basically just like how it transitions in and out of that clip so as you can see here i'm messing around with the slide hopefully that all made sense i wasn't really sure how to explain this um hopefully you guys could just see what i was doing <laughs> 